Now goes positive his Obama, Putin soften Syria comments. Go. Loading. Is greater than is greater than view all results, for. Enter multiple symbols separated by commas. London quotes now available. Go. Home edition. News US. Asia Europe economy earnings energy inside wealth politics technology blogs with Shaw special reports corrections. Markets pre-markets US. Europe Asia stocks commodities currencies bonds funds ifs. Investing stock blog personal finance C and P C explains portfolio watchlist stock screener fund screener financial advisors. Small business franchising financing management video. Video latest video top video US. Video Europe video Asia video CEO interviews analyst interviews digital workshop full episodes. Shows watch list C and P C US. C and P C Asia Pacific C and P C Europe C and P C World full episodes. Watch lit pro. Register vertical bracket sign in. Member center member center sign out. X. Dow goes positive his Obama, Putin soften Syria comments. Middle East turmoil. Dow goes positive his Obama, Putin soften Syria comments. Text size published, Friday, the 6th of September 2013 vertical bracket 1055 AM at I, the Associated Press with CNPC.com. Eureka Dobna vertical bracket aft vertical bracket Getty Images. Russian President Vladimir Putin, L, welcomes U.S. President Barack Obama at the start of the G20 summit on September 5, 2013 in St. Petersburg. President Barack Obama claimed a growing recognition among foreign leaders Friday that the world cannot stand idly by in the face of chemical weapons use in Syria, and said he plans to make his case to the American people in an address Tuesday night. With Congress showing signs of reluctance to back a resolution authorizing military strikes, Obama refused to say whether he would act if he fails to win that approval. It would be a mistake for me to jump the gun and speculate, because right now I'm working to get as much support as possible out of Congress, he said. Obama also said he knew it would be a heavy lift to persuade Congress to approve the use of force against Syria. Obama said he understand the American public's deep skepticism about launching military action against Syria. But he said he is confident he can persuade Americans that the use of chemical weapons in Syria requires a military response. Obama said he needs to convince the nation that his plans would be limited and proportional and designed to uphold international norms. Obama says a chemical attack in Syria last month was carried out by President Bashar Assad's military. Seeking congressional authority to act, Obama says the U.S. experience with Iraq and a decade of war has made the public wary, especially within his own Democratic Party. Obama also told reporters at the end of a two-day Group of 20 economic summit that he and other leaders had had a full airing of views in the issue. He said many foreign nations will be issuing statements on their positions, but he didn't say whether any specifically had joined France in supporting his move toward U.S. military strikes. He said the leaders are unanimous in believing that chemical weapons were used in Syria and that international norms against that use must be maintained. He said division comes over how to proceed through the United Nations. Obama also held a surprise meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin, a chief opponent of U.S. military action. Putin, a staunch ally of Syrian President Bashar Assad, said this discussion with Obama focused on Syria during the 20 to 30 minutes and that, while they disagreed, the meeting was substantial and constructive. Putin says there's no firm evidence of that and opposes any action outside the United Nations. Obama said he had a candid and constructive conversation with Putin, even if they still disagreed in how to respond to the chemical weapons used in Syria. He said they agreed the underlying conflict can only be resolved through a political transition. Obama said he thinks it is important that he and Putin work together to urge all sides in the conflict to try to resolve it.